So I've said several times that we will be discussing different areas of philosophy that are present. Yeah, that's an awful word. Sorry, guys. All right. We are going to be discussing the philosophical terrain. Just to be clear, there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of subfields of philosophy. You can do philosophy of just about anything. Okay, stick philosophy of and in front of any subject matter and you have an area of philosophy. We can do philosophy of biology. We can do philosophy of science as a whole. We can do uh, philosophy of language, philosophy of art. Philosophy can be done about pretty much any subject matter out there. But there are certain what some people call core areas of philosophy. These are just some very basic areas that talk about, again, those fundamental ideas. Metaphysics. Metaphysics is the study of the nature of the universe. We will be discussing a, uh, several metaphysical subject matters. What exists in what way does it exist? Does the chair exist? Does the chair exist as one single thing, or is it simply a conglomeration of billions of quarks? Does free will exist? Does the mind exist? Does God exist? When we talk about metaphysics, we are talking about what there is in the world and how it is here. This is contrasted with epistemology. Epistemology is the study of knowledge. What do we know and how do we know it? Whether the chair exists is one question, okay? But how do we know the chair exists is a whole separate question. Presumably, there is a fact of the matter about what does exist in the world. What we can know of the world is a whole different issue. So we will be discussing epistemology, the question of what can we know, how do we know it? Then there's axiology. Axiology is the study of value. Now, this is very broad, the study of value. What could that possibly mean? How do we study value? And what is value? Well, that is, in fact, as you see down here, part of axiology. What is value? Where does value come from? We can break value down into a lot of different things. We value things based on monetary cost. I might value something expensive, but at the same time, I might value a piece of art just for the sake of the piece of art. I might, I hopefully, and hopefully you do too, value my friends and family. I value having a roof over my head. So value is incredibly complicated. Now, we, for the sake of this class, are not going to discuss that. We are not going to discuss what value is specifically and, and where it comes from. We are going to focus on what we might call the ethics within axiology. And ethics is what actions are right and wrong, what makes them right or wrong. We are going to discuss that. We are going to discuss this question of what, why, why is it that we consider murder wrong? Okay, hopefully we all say murder is wrong. Well, what about murder makes it wrong? Is it the consequences of the action? Is it the action itself? 
So this is what we're going to talk about in our morality chapter. There are lots of different things we can study in axiology. I mentioned art, philosophy of art, aesthetics, another word for philosophy of art, is a form, is a subfield of axiology. Unfortunately, we simply don't have the time to talk about it, to talk about it this semester. Finally, there's logic. Logic is the study of correct reasoning. What is an argument? What makes an argument a good one? We all know the word argument. We have arguments with our parents, with our siblings, with our significant others, with our friends. But in philosophy, in logic, the word argument is used in a very specific way. The word argument is used to designate a very specific thing. And we are going to talk next week about logic and what an argument is. We're going to talk about what makes an argument a good one. How do we evaluate an argument? Logic is the tools of philosophy. Logic is what allows us to do the philosophical inquiry. Biologists have slides and microscopes. Um, engineers have, I don't know, computers and robots to build things. Philosophers have logic. So before we can get too far into our philosophical inquiry, we need to spend some time talking about just some basic logic things, just so that you have a rough foundation for the tools that we will be using for the rest of the semester. And we will be using them. We will be referring back to them. So like I said, we're going to do that next week.